Hey, what's up everyone? In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload your Unity project to GitHub so that you could share it with everyone in this world. First, we'll create a GitHub account. Then we'll download a software that is called Git so that we can upload the code from our computer to GitHub. For example, I have this Unity project, which is a 2D platformer game that I've created recently. And the project is created under my desktop. And it is this one. Here we have all of the assets and the scenes of this game. And let's start with the first step, which is creating the GitHub account. You could go to github.com. If you already have a GitHub account, make sure to skip to this time. And if you don't, you could follow along. Let's start by clicking sign up. If you want to get updates and news via email, you could add yes. For me, I'm going to use no. Then let's hit continue. After that, you will verify your account by starting a puzzle. And once it's done, we can create an account using create account. Now I'm going to open up the email that I've used it and get the code. Then I'm going to answer these questions. You could use GitHub for free. And once you create your GitHub account, we can move to the next step, which is installing the Git software under this link which is the official link of Git, then Downloads. You could download it for Windows, Mac, or Linux. For me, I'm using Linux. If you are using Windows, you just need to click on this Windows option. Then you will download an installer file, depending on your system, 32-bit or 64-bit. For me, I'm using Ubuntu, so I will go back and hit Linux. And it's very easy to install. I only need to run this command. And let's open up a terminal using Ctrl Alt T. Or you could open it from here. We have terminal. Let's paste the command. Probably you need to add sudo before this command. Then hit enter. I'm going to enter the password. And I'm going to use yes or Y. To accept this as you can see it is downloading and once you install git whether you are using windows or linux the process is going to be the same now because we will use the same commands before that i'm going to check for the version using git dash dash version at this point i'm using the version 2.25.1 for now i'm going to close this terminal and let's go back to GitHub so that we can create the project. You could hit start a project or go to this plus icon and the new repository. I'm going to give it a name like platformer game. Optionally, you could add a description. I'm going to write my first platformer game in Unity. Here we have two options. You could make this project public so that anybody can download it from your GitHub account. Or you could make it private. Let's leave it as default public. And add a readme file. And one of the advantages of GitHub is that you could select a .git ignore file. And that will ignore the unnecessary files. So if I open my Unity project. We have assets, library, logs, and so on. We don't need to upload all of these files, like the libraries that are not needed. And that will reduce the size of your project under GitHub. So let's go back and select a .gitignore file. I'm going to search for Unity. Then let's select it. And finally, let's create the project using this button. By default, we have these two files, the .ignore 
and the readme file finally we can upload our project to this repository I'm gonna show you the easiest way which is cloning the repository under our desktop then we're gonna add all of the files under our project you could simply go to code and copy this link so that we can use it to clone the folder if you are using Windows you simply need to right click and select git bash then you will have a window that pops up but if you are a Linux user you can right click and open in terminal before you clone the project we need to run few commands the first one is git config dash dash global user dot name then you enter your name which is the name of your github account for me it's gd titans let's copy this command then paste it and change the username and hit enter the second command is git config dash dash global user dot email and we enter our email let's copy it as well I'm gonna write my email then let's hit enter now we can use git clone and we paste the link let's go back again under code let's copy this link and paste it after git clone and that will create the folder under here now we can easily move these files which is our unity project using right click copy and paste them under this new folder which is actually our repository as you can see we have this readme file then let's paste but that will not upload the project to github basically we need to run few commands to push this project to github to do that we need to open up the terminal again make sure to be under the git repository then we can right click and hit open in terminal or git bash and that will set the path we have desktop slash platformer game first we need to use git add to add these files then dot to add them all another useful command that you need to know about is git status we have these messages because we've added all of these files I'm gonna clear the screen using clear next we need to commit the changes using git commit dash m optionally you could add a comment like first commit then enter and let's use git stats again as you can see I can use the up arrow to get the previous commands that we have used like git status we need to use git push to publish our local commits so let's write this command then enter we have to pass in the username which is the name of your github I'm gonna copy it from here and I'm gonna paste it next we enter the password if you get this message password authentication was removed we need to use personal access token instead so make sure to go to github select this option then under settings then we need to go all the way down and select developer settings and we have personal access tokens we have to create a new one using generate a new token first I'm gonna add a note like project token you could set an expiration day like 30 days and let's select all kind of permissions and generate the token which is this one let's copy it let's go back to the terminal window and use git push again the username is the same but for the password 
I will use the token that I've just copied and hit enter and there you go now it is uploading the project I think it's gonna take a little bit of time because the project is a little bit big once it's done we can check if it's uploaded under github I'm gonna go back to the repositories this is our first project under this account which is platformer game if you open it up you see that we have the assets the packages and all of the needed files to open up this project now you could clone it using code and use this link or we can download it as a zip file then open it up in unity and everybody can check for this project by opening this link so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to put it under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one